We now head to Austin, where just moments ago, Governor Abbott announced his priorities as lawmakers return Monday for a third special session. They are passing school choice legislation, further cracking down on illegal immigration and outlawing COVID vaccine mandates by private employers. Now, when it comes to tackling education savings accounts, many leaders of our public school administrations say they're worried. KTK's Avery Klinowski has more on the topic. The Texas legislator plans to meet for the fourth time this year, and school choice is on the list of topics to discuss for this round. Some pilot program probably of a, of a school choice. Superintendents from across East Texas want lawmakers in Austin to keep children and teachers in mind. Well, this is not a uh, school choice for parents because parents don't get to choose. This would be where the private schools get to choose. Representative Harris says the climate has changed around education, opening up the discussion. There's, there's a lot more representatives in the House who are willing to sit down and, and talk about, is this actually something that could benefit school children? Stan Surratt, superintendent of Lindale ISD, says something is not right. They're talking about no accountability. They're giving this money away free and that's just not a conservative principle. Harris applauds East Texas public schools that do a great job and has them in mind. I make sure that we're providing those types of schools the resources they, that they need to keep doing it. Surratt says it comes down to monitoring that funds get to the right places. And without accountability, most Texas, I would say 90 percent plus, are against it. And this is not a conservative measure. It's not, it's not going to be good for Texas students. Public school districts have audits each year, requirements from state and federal government. Does it empower parents to educate their kids the best? Assuring quality education inside every classroom for every child. Avery Klinowski, KETK News.